Okay, so I thought I'd go ahead and do another sound car. And I'll just briefly document this one. I won't go into much detail. Um, on the last one I did, I put um, two slots on the sides of the truck for the wires to go down. Uh, but on this one, I really don't have that kind of room. So what I did is drill a 1 8 inch hole now the top part of this is plastic and then this is a weight so this I think this is the side that looks a little rougher because what happened is it started to pull up some of the the weight material and it just kind of made that hole look rough so if you do one of these this is the um, Bethgon uh, coal porter this one is uh, an Athern Anyway, when you start to feel that resistance of the metal, go ahead and stop. And then um, I had taken, this is a weight also. The two screws come out, set that aside. And then this screw here comes out. I would remove that screw. What I did is I just centered a point between the edge of the um, truck pivot here and the screw head. And uh, just kind of made a tiny little pilot hole get me started but when you start to feel the resistance good thing to go ahead and take that screw out and then this whole plastic piece here the ladders on that'll lift out and come out of the way but you'll have a nice little pilot point on the metal and then I went over to the other side did the same thing um, now normally I'll try not to, let's see here all right it may be a little hard to see but there's two holes on the sides of where the truck mounts and you can kind of see solder in there that's where the wires normally come up and on the uh, box car I just milled two slots above it so when it rotated the wires just come up through it doesn't doesn't interfere what I did is I disassembled this one and this little brake piece comes off and then I used a pin vise and what I did, um, let's see if I can get this, well, the, it's not in it anymore, so we'll just have to imagine this is the, the drill. As I just went down in this corner, kind of on an angle, and, and then just went ahead and drilled both sides, both trucks. Not both sides of a single truck, obviously, but did the same on each truck so that way my wires come out very close to where it pivots and what's nice about that is um, that, that eighth inch hole is going to be enough okay so I just took this side off so you could you know, see what I did these are the Athern uh, Genesis and do I have it sitting out here? I think I do. Yeah, the 100 ton. They're getting harder and harder to find, but I hear they're going to re-release these before long. Um, the difference is these are 36 inch wheels. The one that's on the uh, boxcar I did is uh, 33 inch scale. So, if we look at this side, you can see, it's maybe a little hard to see, this camera is just all over the place. There's a, the hole down in there, and the wires go down in there, and this, this moves back and forth, and no issue, no binding. Uh, the next thing I did, like I said, I did remove this weight when I did it, and when I had finished drilling the holes and had these pieces off, this is all flat. There's no ladders, no nothing. So I was able to clamp that down on the mill and go ahead and mill that out. And it's just far enough out where if this thing is sideways, you're not gonna you're not gonna see the holes. Um and there is some of the plastic left over in the middle. I left that beam running down through the middle. That's where the speaker's gonna go. I don't have the parts yet. And I did have to remove the center brace so the speaker will sit on top of there 
you can see this one's got the wires up and through. When I move it back and forth, you can see there's hardly any movement, so there won't be any strain on the wire. So the speaker will go in the center. Um, these come with the coal loads. So on the bottom side, I will have the uh, sound card decoder off on one side. I'm hoping just to glue it on this rib here. And then next to it, I'm going to put the current keeper. And this, that, that's pretty much it. It's pretty, pretty, this one's pretty straightforward. Um, didn't have to do much at all. I'm just waiting on the parts now. Okay, well, the parts came in today, so I went ahead and installed everything. I already had the wires sticking up and through. Um, got the speaker mounted. Uh, again, I like to use that flange because it just pushes the speaker up a little further away from that any surface it's on, like that beam it's going across. Um, so I got it wired. Try to get the sound card decoder as close to the center as possible. In this case, I just used, there's little ribs going across on the bottom of the coal load. And I just used a little strip of uh, CA <clears throat> glue along those and press that in there, fairly centered. And then the current keeper is kind of off to the side. I actually kind of tacked it to the side of the coal load and then just kind of wrap the wires the best I could um, from that back and forth trying to keep everything in the center around the wires under the supports here because that's it seats on these um, supports on both sides and then <clears throat> I don't know if these touch anything but that's Kind of leave them alone. Um, I've already programmed it and tested it. All I have to do is it's it's probably dry enough now. It's gonna flip it up, press it down on there, and test it, and that should be good. All right. Well, here's uh, here it's finished with the uh, coal load on top, and it's fairly easy to access. Just have to kind of pry up one side, lift that out. Shouldn't have to. Shouldn't have to get in there for anything. Anyway, um, so we'll go ahead and hear the brake release. And then we'll go ahead and I've got an address already up, so I press uh, F8 four times. Okay, now it's uh, part of the consist. Again, I don't have it hooked up to the locomotive because I don't want it, um, the sound of the locomotive drowning out the um, sound of the car. I might remap the function 8 to uh, another, another key. Um, that way I can mute the locomotive and still demo the car. But for now, I'm just going to leave it alone. All right, so turn up the throttle some. And apply the brakes. Now I've got it programmed under CV61 to match the the um, the train braking rate of the locomotive, so they'll both stop at the same time, and the sound of the squealing of the brakes would stop at the same time. Because right now my throttle still says 30, but um, I've got a value of 64 in there. It's pretty low. But with this layout, uh, don't have very far to go. So, and that's pretty much it. Then to break it from the consist, 
you just go ahead and wave your wand across the top again and you hear the manual brake kicking in you can actually hear one of the other engines in the background sorry about that but anyway that's uh, that's pretty much it that's the second one it went real smooth I wouldn't mind doing at least one or two other um, coal cars just because uh, I think I got about 20 now so I'd like to have at least two or three coal cars that make the sound um, kind of spaced out I think that would be very realistic when it's passing by all right hope you enjoyed I want to add one uh, quick little note here I was curious if I went ahead and consist both these if they would behave exactly the same as far as I mean they're programmed the same so the flange squeal and um, other sounds that it, it's randomly making I expected them to be exactly the same and they're not and I'm not sure why if that's just a fluke or not but it's really cool um, I just separated them and kind of put my head down close so I could hear from the left and the right and I expect I expected the flange squeal um, and the clickety clack to be identical left and right ear and it's not it's kind of like out of phase or something and that's really cool um, so I just I wanted to add that because it just again adds just that much more more realism to it I'd like to know how that how that works if it, if it's something in a programming or what but they were you know consisted um, at the same time and ran at the same time and I just expected to get the same kind of squeal and the sounds are completely I mean they're the same sounds but um, there's no pattern that I could pick up I listened for about a minute and they were just sounded completely out of sync like it, I didn't hear any kind of pattern going back and forth between the two and that's really cool so that's an awesome job soundtracks I really enjoy this product thank you